Hello everybody, I am here to do my second candy and food tasting video because I absolutely can't wait to see what's in here. You probably recognize this from the last video I did. I didn't cheat and look online to find out what was in there so I really I can't wait any longer. It was my boyfriend Max's birthday and he's pretty into his English and Irish heritage so for his birthday I bought him a bunch of Irish foods and some English foods from a website called Food Ireland. I think that's what it was called. And he was nice enough to save some things for me to try to show you. Cadbury eggs, Irish butter toffee, potatoes, mustard. This is whole grain mustard made with Irish whiskey. <laughs> the last thing I'll try today is this Smarties flavored gum. So let's get started. Find out what's in this guy. It says Yowie, and then there were all kinds of them at the grocery store and they all had different names. They're all called Yowie, but then there was another name and this one is called Squish. I don't know if that means that's the kind of toy that's inside. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> And for all the zero to three year olds watching, you cannot have one of these. It's kind of fallen apart. It looks like it is, whoa, everybody's favorite. It is chocolate coated plastic. <laughs> Look at that, it's kind of crazy. It has a face on it, but then this is all chocolate. Hmm, let's taste the chocolate. Just milk chocolate, and this thing was in there. I have no idea what's going on. The milk chocolate is really good. Where is this from? Can't tell. Mmm, it's good chocolate. I'm not a chocoholic, but I know good chocolate. And that's pretty all right. Um, how do I open this? So that little capsule opened. <laughs> And there's a little guy in there. <laughs> Let's see, it looks like there's Boof, Craig, Squish, Rumble, Diddy, and Nap. And of course, Nap looks a little sleepy. This is weird. Apparently these are little characters that live in the wood, woods and meadows. I don't know why they're covered in chocolate. You can play and learn with Yowie and help nurture and protect our wildlife friends in their habitat. Oh, so it is giving sort of awareness for endangered species, I guess. That is Squish. Our next chocolate item, I saw this on another video. Her vlog is O'Cluck and all share the link with you below. After I saw that review, I just had to try for myself. So uh, Max left me one over and you can see it's in an egg carton. But it also comes with a little spoon and an egg. And this is Cadbury. The Cadbury eggs that are in America seem to only come out at Easter time. And I've never been a fan of them, the Cadbury cream eggs. But this looks like a whole different thing. And you can see there's an area that you kind of can crack open or bite. On the inside, there's this mousse. It's really soft. Oh my gosh. It's just light chocolate mousse. It's very light and airy. Oh, that's really good. This is so yummy. It's really smooth. Mm. Highly recommend. Highly. Mmm. 
delicious. The Irish toffee. Oatfield Irish butter toffee from Ireland. It's described as creamy Irish butter toffees made to a traditional recipe. A little bit of heaven. Oil wrapped. And they look like caramel. They're a little bit hard, really buttery and sweet. These are really good, but it's going to take me ages to eat this. It's getting softer as it warms up. I don't want to bite into it because I, I suspect it'll feel like it'll pull my teeth out, but it's really good. I'm going to move on to the next thing. Kato! In America, we just call this a bag of chips. I think over there, you call them a packet of crisps, which sounds much more refined. So there's cheese and onion, salt and vinegar, and then prawn cocktail. <laughs> I tried the prawn cocktail a couple of weeks ago, and it's really good. It's not the flavor I would pick. Um, I haven't tried the other flavors though, so maybe it's the flavor I would pick. Because it was just a little on the sweet side, I like more savory and salty things without a sweet undertone, but they're good. I finished the packet. I'm gonna try the cheese and onion potato mascot there. These are made in Ireland. And how do you pronounce it? County Armagh? Arma. Arma in Tandragi. Am I way off? It's a very subtle, cheesy and onion smell. With American chips, I feel like the smell, like you open the bag and you immediately know what flavor it is. But this is very subtle. I have a potato chip head. I would say they are equally as cheesy as they are oniony. And I enjoy the combination. Is it County Arma? County Arma. Well, it's not so subtle anymore. The flavor kind of really builds up. These are really tasty. I'm gonna finish this before I finish the chocolate. That's just where my tastes are. Max will finish the chocolate. It's already gone. <laughs> Mustard. The ingredients are water, mustard seeds, spirit vinegar, salt, whiskey, sugar, high fructose, corn syrup, citric acid, artificial flavoring, turmeric, extract color. So this is whole grain. As you can see, it is straight mustard seeds. I haven't had caviar in a while, but this reminds me of it. And I have tasted this before. But again, it's been a couple of weeks. I just remember it being sort of an intense flavor, but let's taste it again. It's not as sort of soft as caviar. Caviar still has that pop, but there's a little more give in caviar. These just sort of crunch. Very, very strong mustard flavor. Strong whiskey note to it. And this is really good on crackers with cheese. I bet it would be really good on a hot dog or a bratwurst. Or just on a spoon if you're one of those people who eats mustard straight from a jar. <laughs> As promised, the final thing I have is the Smarties gum. In the UK, uh, from other tasting videos I watched, do you have Smarties and I think they're like our sixlets. From what I understand, they're little balls of chocolate with a candy coating. Here, Smarties are a wafer, sort of sweet tart wafer candy that when you bite into it, it's sort of powdery. And then they made it gum. Oh, an orange one first. It just tastes like bubble gum. It's good bubble gum, good texture, but it doesn't especially taste like Smarties at all. And I know that Smarties have a subtle flavor anyway, but 
This is in no way reminiscent of the candy. But just as gum, it's really good. I'm gonna try a different flavor, purple. Same thing, just very bubble gummy. But for some reason this purple one tastes a little bit like cinnamon. That's very strange. Nothing particularly unique or special about this gum. If you love the taste of Smarties, this gum will be very disappointing. Let's see how the bubbles are. I haven't chewed it enough yet. At first it felt like there was a lot of gum for one gum ball, but now that I've been chewing it, it's a much more manageable piece. There's still flavor. <laughs> well, thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed my video. If there are any other chips or condiments or candies or gums or foods you would like me to try, let me know in the comments. Um, I love trying new food. I have to talk fast because I think my battery is about to run out. I think I want my next tasting video to be all the different kinds of dill pickle chips. Thanks again for watching. Again, thank you so much for subscribing. It's really um, exciting to see that you're watching my videos and enjoying them. Until my next video, I hope you are having a really great week. Thanks. Bye. I'm trying to blow a big bubble. This is turning out to be really good gum for blowing bubbles. Of course not. Why would it work now? Camera's rolling. Here, let's both try. <laughs> Man, come on! Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>